Hi, you guys. Welcome to the channel. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Whenever this message gets to you, it will be your message. We're going to get a reading for the week ahead. Today is the 15th. We are moving into the Pisces Lunar Eclipse for 2024. Week ahead. I think we should just do Monday. What's going on Monday? Happiness and the moon. Oh, right when I cut the deck. Time to go out and have fun. Changes in your life. Happy changes ahead. That's good. Maybe you guys should go out to today, tonight. I don't know. Seems like a nice time to go out for some tea. Or drinks or whatever you guys, glass of wine or whatever you guys like to do. I did see family sorrow. It says marriage. I hope you guys are happy. A marriage could be anything doesn't have to be between two people something coming together all right that's enough shuffling on camera but I'm doing it you guys I'm doing it the way you want me to I know it takes time but it's okay it's okay let's get three from this side timing stuff might come out let's see what's going on for tomorrow today or tomorrow we have butterfly, a change for the better. Yay. A change for the better. Two more came out. Oh, four. A time to act. Major, major challenge to overcome. And you've been working on this since July. Or you'll work on this from now until next July. Either way, change is here. And you guys will know because you have a strong intuition and you've been through the fire. You're coming out of a cocoon. It says wreath on the bottom here. Sorrow over loss. You guys have dealt with a lot of pain. Look, July looked happy. What happened? It says mate. Oh, that's too many. Sunday, Monday. major challenges more timing stuff here's the star energy on the bottom plenty of material things you guys have a lot or if you don't feel like that you will and you will feel abundant it says temporary problems easily fixable this could be a moody thing someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want aren't they always you guys and then you've got a goal, or you're a goal-oriented person. Here's a woman. You're this woman or someone around you, a relationship with a woman, dealings, and February. Well, I'm probably talking to February, born Pisces, or something going on this February. That's probably when the changes will happen. That's just a few months from now. Time to prepare for the challenges and and it could you could be a Pisces with a cancer rising or you could be dealing with the cancer the cancer woman I'm hearing someone is behaving stupid
deep personal strength and peace that assure success. An older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman. The whale energy, great worry over nothing and happiness. So, you know, it's a mixed bag. That's not surprising considering we have a full moon on Tuesday. The day of action, the day of Mars. And then three days that follow after that, the moon's going to be in Aries. So, when's, I don't know when it moves into Aries. I have to find out. Sunday, Monday. An opportunity and number eight, strength, Virgo, Leo, energy. Virgo and Leo. Pisces with the Virgo, Leo, rising or moon sign. Tower and, and enlightenment. The hangman coming up, seeing a different way, holding steady, pausing before action. Yeah, think it through, Pisces. Don't go firing off. Don't get spicy. We have seven of pentacles again. We have an emperor. And we have a wheel of fortune. Oh, this guy, he's here again. The star. The ace of pentacles. A hero font. Twin flame energy soulmates. It's harvest time, Pisces, and your emperor is going to arrive. But he's not going to save the day because you are saving yourself. There's no such thing as anyone needing to save you. That's a fairy tale. You're very wise. You get a lot of downloads. You're clearing your mind. Of course, you've never given up hope. And you guys have money coming in. I know it took a long time to get here. Something about this King of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. Ah, oh, the hangman is on the bottom. There is a mass awakening around religious beliefs. You are not going to let anyone juggle you, no one from your past. You're not pretending about, oh, um, what so-and-so did in the past or um, what is Spirit telling me? You're not waiting on someone to decide what they're going to do with you. You're just going to go out and have fun. There's a lot of new energy Page of Swords, Page of Wands, and Page of Cups. I don't know if you guys have three kids that you're dealing with. It's a soul contract. Forget about the kids, although that could be part of the message. So you guys are dealing with this negative energy in a different way. It's very heavy though. There's a weird spiritual thing here going on. And you're always needing to defend yourself. This is going to get released in the full moon. I really recommend that you guys release whatever <laughs> whatever soulmate this is, it ends up being the devil every single time. And you're always needing to fight. And nobody stands with you. And it has to do with the narcissist. 
So good luck. You're gonna need it. And I'm not being it. I'm not being mean. I'm telling you. It says, get this, you guys, on the bottom here. A wish will be granted. Needle in a haystack. Or broken. Wish won't be granted and, and one will be granted. And then the bridge broken and the handshake. October. You guys are going to be tested. Why is Pisces always control your anger? Or you will be sorry, it says. Okay. So that's what's going to happen. This is that moment. This is the moment of truth. Do you go back? Or do you take the new offer? And it's here in this reading. And it showed up in the, in the, uh, what am I saying here? The tea leaves. The hero font, six of cups. Are you pouring into your past or are you going to pour into your future? Your harvest is coming in. Emperor, wheel of fortune, the star, six of cups. Really fond memories. Balanced emotions. These cups are full of love. They have lotuses in them. And someone feels light as a feather, like a kite. There's a kite here. And this, in the picture, it's two little kids. And this little kid is protecting the little girl. You know, this looks like family members. There's an emperor, a very real emperor, who has his eye on you. He's never not watching you. When he's not working and making the wheel shift, he's got his eagles on you. I don't know if you guys see eagles, hawks, birds. Birds are significant. Might send you signals. And there is a man praying to God. Praying that you don't leave him. Praying that he'll meet you. Praying that he'll come in contact. Praying for the right woman. Never losing hope. Or someone wants to, you know, come back. Pisces, you've had to fight so long and hard. Dear God. Four of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups. Go with the new Pisces. Don't go with anyone who stabbed you in the back before. As much as you are contemplating that and they're going to show up different today for you, it already ended in disaster. You already put that to bed. You have a whole new life ahead of you. And it's full of abundance. And it's full of a new someone who wants a new opportunity with you. Let go of the past. Two of Wands. And Queen of Cups. I'm shutting the door on that other fella. You need someone who's fully, fully in alignment. Someone, someone your age or something, something about matching or slightly older, someone very mature. What more can this king tell me here? He was in the other reading. Deception. Messages. Magic. Nine of Swords. King of Pentacles, King of Cups.
the moral of this story here, you guys, you have to choose all new now. Sorry. If, if something didn't work in the past, it's not going to work. Because that person just shifts around. One day they're stable and the next day they're emotional. And they're always fighting no matter what. It's some sort of internal struggle that this man has. Like an ego problem. He's always finding fault is what I'm hearing. This guy is messy. I don't know. It's like He's over emotional. He's feminine. He's not in touch with his feminine. He's got a mommy problem. I'm not being rude. I'm saying this narcissist needs help. And when you provide them with help, it takes you to, they betray you. Time and time again, they knock you out. Energetically, I think this person, when you guys get around them, they make you sleepy or they get sleepy. Something weird happens. Because the moon is here. Like the moony, moody moon, this fire sign or whoever this person is, like he needs, he's a narcissist, number one. He wants everything his way, all his way. He's petty. He's a snake. He doesn't want you to see him as a snake, though. Nobody wants you to see their, their underbelly. They never want you to have anything. They're very stingy. They probably have a lot, but they keep it all from you. Somebody who, like, gets divorced from somebody, and then you find out that they still love you and want to get remarried to you again. God, it's making my stomach hurt. This energy always makes me sick. Five of swords, the strength to get away. Nine of swords, yeah, I'm right. Nine of swords, the sun, and the nine of cups. This is what you guys have been doing with this person. Five of swords, eight of, eight of, always firing off, needing to have so much strength, and then right back into no sleep and it's making me nauseous. Literally making me sick. Eight of swords to the knight of pentacles. Like what's wrong with this person? Why does this person want to like capture you and bind you and keep you stuck? So it, what it is, is you have to, you have to break a cycle. You have to love yourself, Pisces. You have to choose yourself and you're not an option and you're not going to let anyone juggle you. And also, I want you guys to know that this person doesn't, doesn't always say, this narcissist doesn't ever say what they want. They, you're always walking on eggshells. You never know. And that's, the, that's like this tricky magic that they do. Well, I'm never going to tell them what I really, really want. That way, you know, they're always trying to be better. And it's like chasing a carrot. That's what Spirit's telling me. You're always chasing the carrot. Knight of Swords, the Hierophant, Six of Cups. You've been with this person a long time. You have a new start. Empress. Yeah, I am so accurate about this. Queen of Swords. Look how you're always like defending and wondering like three of swords. And, and the trick is that you need to just choose yourself. And I know that I've been saying that. Spirits, and I'm right. Look at that. Ace of swords, ace of pentacles. Go in the direction that takes you to a new you, a new Pisces. Where you feel free. Where you feel inspired. Where you feel loved. Where you feel free. Not arguing. 
This person wants you freaking stuck forever. In a maze of craze. They found you and they never want to let you go because you're like their lucky leprechaun. Ten of cups. All right. I'm going to get out. I'm going to go because I hope I've said enough regarding this creepy energy. This creepy energy must make you guys physically ill. It's making me, it's making me ill. You guys know who it is because you've been dealing with them for 16 years. You're blowing the tower up, Pisces. Some of you guys have guys in your life who are worthy, and some of you guys don't have people in your life. Some are just fakers. They can't hold it together for very long because it's not really who they are. Of course they want to be with you, Pisces, but they're not going in the new era. Your new era means you have to evolve. And you can't stay with people who are stuck or keeping you stuck because it's not your life path. It says positive movement forward in the year of the eight. You're the authority. Heartache and loss. I gotta go. Because Pisces, I'm picking up on all your, your worries. Third party. If this person is going to make you guys... You're not married to this person yet. This person is going to make you feel comfy and then you're stuck. That's the trick. That's why spirit keeps doing this handshake and this needle thing. Lies, secrets, facade. I told you. See things clearly. See through the mask. You guys already do know. You already know. You just can't put your finger on it. Divine timing because you're tired of waiting. You're tired of waiting on the Holy Spirit. But maybe the Holy Spirit is tired of waiting on you guys. Marriage forever commitment. You guys don't have to wait for a commitment. It should be there. You should work on that. Direction from your angels. The reason why you're you're always waiting on this commitment is because that person isn't being honest. They're stubborn. Runner, time apart. Breaking up, secrets, holding back. See, they never want you to know. Competition with other people. You want to stay in that? Or heal. You're always open to them 24 hours a day. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm so glad I pulled these out. You know what, Pisces? You have big dreams. You can be happy. When you kept this person at a distance, you were happier. Oh, they always leave you out in the cold and then come back. And that's a cycle that needs to be broken. Obstacles and challenges. Gosh, I cannot even imagine doing the same thing with that person over and over like that. Super hellish. This guy's hands are dirty. Devil. I knew it. The damn devil. You guys are going to be shown many options and you're going to move forward. And, and this solar eclipse. First it's the lunar eclipse and then it'll be the solar in October on the 2nd. It's showing us right here. October 2nd. You're going to find a new strength that you didn't know you had. A new opportunity and harvest. And it says prosperity begins. And here's more of that tree information. And it has something to do with the star alignment. And letting go of, well, equal give and take. Anyway, 
Have a great Sunday, you guys. Aloha. Namaste, my friends. This is really it. Two readings. I split them up for whatever reason. Spirit had me do it that way. And, um, oh, I am going to get you guys an angel card in this one. And a healer card. Sacred, sacred forest. Pisces. This is not the time to put on any rose colored glasses. Your expansion is here. Spirit, <clears throat> excuse me, Spirit Guardian of Summer expansion. Your harvest is coming in. Your harvest is really coming in, you guys. Don't give it off to anyone. Acceptance and chaos. Prosperity, uncertainty, joy, and letting go. Trusting yourself, trusting your own success, and having an activation. And change is here. You guys are having a hard time letting go of family. The Six of Cups. Because you've been with that person through a lot. But it was all karmic. When I say karmic, we all do karmic lessons. It's it's It was a karmic connection that brought you to the point to change, to cut cords, to... Heal family wounds. When you healed the family wounds, your your brothers and sisters, they also healed. I don't know that they're thanking you. Here's the number 13. But that's what's happening. They probably aren't telling you that because you're probably not talking to them. Number 40, strength. Joy, number 24. The source of life. Comfort. Three of swords. Th Number 17 and heaven's door. Believing in your dreams. 444. Four, four. You're very likely a life path 9. Or an 8. Or a 3. Or 4. <laughs> you guys might be a, a life path 4. I almost didn't say that. Oops. We have four, 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 eight, nine, nine, and three. And four right here with the number 13. Have a great day. Have a beautiful Sunday. Many blessings to all you guys. Just know that the water is going to flow. You got to work through these energies. You guys know how to do this whole full moon thing. You know it's about a release. And the release really begins to happen two or three days after it meets the, you know, the fullness. All right. So have a great time. We'll be here for it. And um, you're going to be great. It's going to be great. Yeah. You know, it's going to be emotional. But you're going to do great. I think the next couple of days are the toughest. That's where I feel like all this testing comes in. And then on the 17th. Hopes, wishes, and dreams will begin to appear in your 3D reality. Things will begin to shift. Four of Wands, you'll get to a place where you're feeling better, looking better, and having more strength. Because I'm feeling a real, like, I'm feeling nauseous right now. So I know that the collective is going through it. I didn't feel nauseous when I started working here this morning, but I do now. I really do. You guys must be really like going through it. I wish each and every one of you the best. Take care and be great.